Howdy folks, this is Jay. Welcome to Colony Hills Homestead. Are you one of those that just let your garden set during the winter time and wait till what you consider your grow season? What we're gonna talk about today is gonna help you prepare your garden for the next growth season and put back those nutrients that may have leaked out or may have been used up over time. And we're gonna talk about acidity and alkalinity in your soil and how to fluctuate those and where the best numbers are, how to test for that. And then we're gonna talk about the fact that there truly isn't a grow season. You could grow year round if you wanted to. It's just the type of vegetables will be different. So we're gonna cover all that in this short video. Come on with us, thanks. Well, howdy folks, welcome back. We we're gonna talk about winter veggies. So I live in the South here in East Texas. So it doesn't get uh, frigid, but we still, we have some cold spells here. Um, times when it gets down into the twenties. Uh, but that's, uh, I think about three or four years ago, it got down to 17, 18, but just about everything works here during the winter that you would expect. So I plant various lettuces, various greens, uh, turnip greens, mustard greens, Swiss chard. Uh, one of my favorites, collard greens does well here. Um, radishes, carrots. Um, there's, there's just a multitude of things that you could continue to grow year round, uh, especially here in the South, uh, South US. So if you don't do that, that's fine. Um, it's time to reflect on what went well last year during your growing season and what didn't go so well and see if you can fix that. There's various ways. Um, maybe you need to pick new seeds. You know, if you grow from seeds like I do, uh, I'm not gonna go to the, the store and, and pay the high price for the plants when I can get hundreds of seeds for less. So I've had great success with Parker, Burpee, um, Gurney, Again, this is not a sponsored ad, uh, but I will tell you some of the things I've had success with. <clears throat> I do have a greenhouse, which you can see uh, one of them here behind me. So I do have the luxury of being able to start my seeds a little earlier, uh, which, which helps out a lot. So it, it's time to reflect and it's time, time to fix whatever problems you had with, with what may not have worked for you. So if you're resting your garden during the winter, it's a good idea to cover your garden with some organic material um, and it's a great time to get some manure in your garden. There's hot manures, cold manures, um, hot manure being one of the main ones I use which is quail manure, <coughs> chicken manure, but the rabbit manures are good, goat, cow, horse, those are cold, considered cold manures, uh, cold fertilized versus hot. Hot means it's got a lot of nitrogen in nitrogen in it needs to be composted or diluted um, so also by by covering that with organic material you're adding back to the soil some of the things that um, you've used up in the previous years um, or that may have uh, leaked through or leached out due to rains that come through my garden is on a slope so rains wash through my garden so I do keep my garden supplemented with, with the things that are needed. Um, you've got primary, secondary, and macronutrients. Uh, primary, main ones I, I'm concerned with, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Uh, those are very important to the growth. Uh, we want those good sturdy vegetable plants that give us that, that garden fresh veggies that we love every year. Uh, we want those plants um, to be as, as healthy as we can. So go ahead and get, get something put in that garden. Um, if you want to, you can plant a cover crop. It's pretty windy here, I hope you can hear me. Um, you can plant a cover crop, winter rye, uh, winter peas comes to mind. Those things put back more into the soil than they take out. Um, so that's a good thing to plant, especially if you have a large garden area. Um, you need to check your pH, okay? Um, you need to know what your acidity or alkalinity of your soil is. Your pH is tested with a number between 0 and 14, 0 being the most acidic, 14 being the most uh, alkaline, 7 being neutral. 
So <clears throat> not going to get too deep into the numbers, but for the most part, your garden vegetables will do great if you can keep them your, your soil slightly acidic. So between 5.8, 6.5, you know, 6.8 in that range. Um, I have a meter here that I test my soils with. I have a lot of houseplants, succulents, all of that. So we test our soils when we uh, blend our own soils here. This test, this is a three-way meter. It tests light, dark, moisture, and the pH. Um, so you would clean these. You just stick it into the dirt. It's going to tell you what your pH level is. So <clears throat> I have some red yuccas that I noticed down here, <laughs> about 100 in one pot that I seeded from my plants. And I'm gonna check the acidity level now. And it's setting at about seven. So it's neutral, um, which is perfectly fine for these outside plants. <coughs> Excuse me. So there are a number of things that you can do to raise your pH if you need to raise it, if it's too, too low, too acidic. So you can use granulated limestone, which you could get at your garden supply, um, mix that in. You could use wood ash, not to be uh, confused with coal ash. It must be wood ash. Um, now, that that being said, you are going to need to mix those things in, till those things in, get you a meter, test that soil somehow. If you're having the opposite problem and you need to lower your pH, there are things that you can buy that, that you can supplement your garden with perfectly fine. Um, aluminum sulfate is one. Sulfur. Sulfur is another one. Aluminum sulfate is going to um, lower your pH pretty immediately. The sulfur is going to take a little while. Um, it's going to need to form sulf sulfuric acid. Um, so that's about as deep as I want to get into the pHs, but uh, the soil tester that I was talking about is very cheap, very inexpensive, really pays for itself. Um, if you get those numbers off on the pH by 1%, 1.2, 1.3, it can mean the difference in, you know, I always plant tomatoes and by garlic, I, I just can't never get, you know, my plants look okay, but I never get any fruit. I never get any tomatoes to, to amount to nothing. Or half my seeds didn't come up so you need to you need to make sure and take a look at that there's ways of supplementing it but you need to get that garden ready you need to be thinking about it now this is uh not even the first of the year yet but getting real close december 29th i think yes so be thinking about that it's not too late to plate, uh, plant some of those wintering uh, vegetables that we that we spoke about earlier um, but go ahead, let's get that soil ready for success. So, happy gardening. Wish you a ton of success. Please comment on the video. Share your knowledge with us as well. If you have questions, we check frequently. So, have a happy new year, a great holiday, a safe New Year's Eve. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos. God bless.